Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will discuss scalar and vector quantities. Specifically, I will answer the question, how is a scalar quantity different from a vector quantity? In other words, how do you know if a quantity is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity. If you are ready, bring out your paper and pen and write down the important points. Scalar and vector are physical quantities because they can be quantified. They can be measured or calculated from other physical property and express as the product of a numerical value and a physical unit. In short, they are measurable. This table shows the basic differences of scalars and vectors. A scalar quantity has magnitude but no direction, while vector quantity has magnitude and direction. What is a magnitude? A magnitude refers to the numerical value of the length, the size, or the quantity. Example, 3 seconds. Another example is 10 meters. How about direction? Direction is the path that someone or something takes or that must be taken to reach a specific place. Example, right or left, upward or downward. North or South? The second difference is that scalar is one-dimensional, while vector quantity can be one-dimensional, two-dimensional, or three-dimensional. One-dimensional is the motion along a straight line. Example, a car moving on a straight road. Another example, a person walking down a hallway. How about two-dimensional and three-dimensional? If the motion is not along a straight line, it is a two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Two-dimensional motion is where an object undergoes motion along the x-axis and y-axis. Example, an ant moving on the top surface of a desk. Another example is when you throw a softball to someone else. How about the three-dimensional? A three-dimensional motion occurs when a body moves in x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis altogether with respect to a frame. Or in simple terms, when a body moves in space. Three-dimensional is a movement in any direction. Example is the motion of a kite. Another example is the motion of an airplane. Scalar quantities are quantities with magnitude. And again, vector quantities are quantities with magnitude and direction. Vector quantities are often represented by scaled vector diagrams. Vector diagrams depict a vector by use of an arrow 
drawn to scale in a specific direction. The arrow has three parts, the tail, the body or the length, and the head. The tail of the arrow tells the origin. The body or the length tells the magnitude. And the head of the arrow tells the direction. I have here with me some examples of scalar quantities and vector quantities. Under the scalars, we have distance, speed, time, temperature, and mass. And under vectors, we have displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, and weight. Let's take distance as an example under scalar quantity. When we talk of distance, we are talking of 5 meters or 10 kilometers. How about speed? It can be 4 meters per second or 50 meters per second. We don't need to write the direction. How about for time? For time, we do not say 5 hours downward. We do not say also 30 minutes to the left. Temperature is also a scalar quantity because temperature has magnitude only. Example, 27 degrees Celsius. How about for mass? Mass is also a scalar quantity because mass doesn't have direction. We do not say 5 kilograms of rice to the north or 50 kilograms of corn northeast. We do not say that. Under vector quantity, we have displacement. When we talk of displacement, it involves the magnitude and direction. For example, 10 meters north. 10 meters is the magnitude and north is the direction. How about for velocity? Example, 20 meters per second south of east. 20 meters per second is the magnitude and south of east is the direction. Acceleration is also a vector because it has both magnitude and direction. Force is another vector quantity because force has both magnitude and direction. Example, 10 newtons north. 10 is the magnitude and north is the direction. Weight is also another vector quantity. Example of weight is 5 newtons downward or 5 newtons upward. Bring out your paper and pen and identify the following quantities whether it is a vector or a scalar. Number one, energy. Number two, impulse. Number three, thrust. Number four, density. Number five, power. Number six, 
Number six, drug. Number seven, length. Number eight, area. Number nine, volume. Number ten, lift. Number 11, Momentum. Number 12, Work. Number 13, Entropy. Answer this question. Is pressure a scalar or a vector quantity? Explain why. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Abet the Teacher. I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned another concept. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you very much and have a great day.